Ja, hey. Ja, hey. I'm the Cajun contractor Michael King and this is Home Talk USA. Today's topic is all about drywall cutouts. And my guest today is Marshall Dressel with Dressel Design. Now Marshall is going to discuss an easier and more effective way when marking these cutouts, when you're putting in receptacle boxes. Now Marshall is also going to be a guest on my radio program. So we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back right here at the Home Talk USA workshop. I'm the Cajun Man. Y'all come back now, you hear? Yay! Well, today's topic is going to be about a better way to do them cutouts. That's right, these sheetrock cutouts when installing receptacle boxes. And my guest today is going to be Marshall Dressel. Marshall's with a company called Dressel Design. Marshall, welcome to Home Talk USA. And, uh, Good to see you. Welcome. You know, um, the last time you was on my uh, radio uh, program, we had a chance to uh, talk to you, learn about the, uh, uh, this cutout system that you came up with. And, uh, but before we jump into this very innovative uh, technology, uh, would you con be kind enough to tell us a little bit about yourself and the company and uh, tell me your story? Sure would. I'm the uh, son of a field artillery officer. And so uh, at post-World War II, I got myself born in occupied Japan. So I was raised in Army Post, Army kid. Got, got grown up big enough to go to college, so I went to College of William & Mary. Met my wife there and uh, got myself out of college and as soon as I did it, got drafted. Became wow. a mortar gunner. Didn't see any future in that. <laughs> so I decided to go to OCS, and as the day I got done with OCS, they had this little thing that says, Health Profession Scholarship Program. Wow. I said, that sounds good. So the Army puts me through medical school, gives me 45 days active So duty. you're actually a doctor. I am a doctor. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, to make this invention, I mean, uh, how, did you, how did you go about it? Well, I wasn't going to invent something. I was going to say, well, guys, what do you want to do? And they were going to put up wage coding, but two and three boxes per piece. And I said, they're never going to get that. I can't even teach them to measure that. So I got to make some kind of invention. So the rest is history. I made a little prototype. Uh, the prototype worked great. And they got done putting the wage coating, 16 sheets, all done perfectly. Not a single mistake. Dad, you need to patent that thing and sell them. I just finished building my wall cabinet. Okay. Uh, the electrician comes in, he runs my receptacles, he puts my junction boxes together. Uh, the sheetrock contractor comes in and he has to close the wall cavity. That's where the nightmare begins. That's where it begins. Right? Because <laughs> in, in contractors out there know what I'm talking about. So now you have all these receptacles behind the wall, the sheetrock is there blocking it, and you don't have a clue where these receptacles is. So as a professional contractor, um, I can take some measurements, uh, uh, I can uh, go infrared, I can get a stud finder if I mark the stud. Again, this is uh, presenting problems and that's where the sheetrock mistakes are made. Um, taking time, taking money. Mm -hmm. So you invented a system, let me get this straight, that can actually mark the sheetrock in the dimensions of the receptacle where you take the complete guesswork out and do a straight, clean cut job. You're right. Wow. Throw away your tape measure. Put Boom. it over away. So let's talk about the product you offer. What is it exactly? These are small little pieces of plastic with a pointed end on it. And the only thing you can do with that is take it with the slot of the other end and put it on that little box. And you got four corners, so you put four points, one in each corner. And so you know what? You show anybody that box with those points on it, they know what you're going to do with it. They say, oh, that's easy. I put up the sheetrock up against it, I give it a tap, and it makes little indentions. Yep. 
So if you've got one box, that's pretty nice. But you have two or three, it's heaven. Because you've got two or three boxes, you're looking at them. There's no way you can do it. You can, there's no way you can measure it and have it come out right. Now, I know she had two colors, right? Two colors. You know, you, you got different size, thicknesses of walls on those boxes. So if you think about it, well, you're going to need different size slots. And when you're dig digging in that bag, you don't want to have to look at those things and say, oh, my God, what's that? So you make the smaller slot one color and the bigger slot another color. So I picked black and white. Well, simple as that. Uh, and they're reusable. That's right. It's as simple as black and white. And if the tips wear down or uh, crack, because you are using them, you just pop it and just use them. You throw it away. So you, you it's I mean, 50 cents. Your sheetrock contractors can actually hire a uh, lower labor person to do all this for you. Exactly. And actually, they can do the cutouts, too, because I saw you just took that little saw blade. Piece lady. of cake. It is amazing. Now, what are some of the benefits of this product, though? So, well, time. it's very simple. Mm -hmm. It saves time. It's so intuitive that once you see where these little points go, you know, what's gonna do, you know what you're going to do with it. to Marshall Dressel. Marshall is with a company called Dressel Design. Uh, we're talking about point marks the spot. We're talking about an easier and effective way to do the sheetrock cutouts yes, when sir. you're installing these uh, uh, receptacle boxes. Just before the break, you explained a little bit about the uh, product itself. And uh, But, uh, you know, we mentioned it, sheetrock. But you can use it for other materials, right? Exactly. If you've got paneling, this, this, this is hard plastic. So this will put punch little divots or little indentations in your paneling. You can even use plywood. You know, these other products, you're going to break them. This one, if you happen to break one of my points, pitch it, open up your bag, 50 cents. Big deal. Now, you said last segment you, it's reusable. So uh, how would it stand up to repeated usage? I mean... Uh, after I finish uh, removing the points from the receptacle, um, what do I do with them? Well, you go ahead and put them back in the bag you got them. It's a Ziploc bag. How, how easy is that? goes in your ditty bag. So compared to anything that's more expensive, you're not going to lose it. You know, the more expensive one, you don't want to lose that, so you're going to put that away. And if you're a DIY guy like me, and you come back to do the same thing two years later, where did I put that thing? Oh, uh -huh. darn. So I'm back down to the hardware store to get another one. So there's another 8 to $20 shot. Well, otherwise, I just go to my ditty bag. I always have a ditty bag. And I got my points mouth spot right there. Points wow. are right ready. Oh, well, that's an easy way and um, accessible to you. And again, if they happen to break off, uh, no problem. Because they're very inexpensive. They were designed, actually, to be used and pitched. When I made them, though, I found out, gee, these things are so hard, it's going to be many, many uses before they bend. Okay, so what about the tools? Because uh, uh, what I noticed when we was doing the, uh, uh, the demonstration, you just basically had a little maul hammer. You had a little jigsaw, uh, portable uh, hand saw, and um, the little uh, L measuring tape, or whatever you want to call it. So, you really don't need these expensive uh, no. saws. In fact, that's why I wanted my DIY friends to know that. <laughs> you know, I put, I put right on, on their instruction sheet, you need these four or five tools that will cost you less than $50, in, including my product. Now say, uh, assuming I have no tools at all, how much is this going to put us back? I mean, how much? All right. It's always cost versus investment. You know that, right? Your, your biggest expense Get yourself one of those electric drills. It might cost you fifteen dollars at the wow. thrift shop. Yeah, and another fifteen. Go cents. to a palm shop and get it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then you then you buy uh, maybe ten dollars worth of my 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 straight my straight points, um, ten dollars worth of my corner points, or we've got a value package where it's forty pieces for twenty dollars, twenty five percent more. I, when I was a contractor, I took pride in my work, and to see the work. 
no more damage to the sheetrock. No more, you know, that's important. That's exactly right. Uh, good clean cut. Well, the rest of it. Well, you know, it impressed me a lot when we started the demonstration. The first thing I asked, okay, you know, uh, let's get started and, you know, and I explained the wall cavity and, and, you, and, you, and you took out your measurement tape. Well, the first thing we got to do is get rid of this. Exactly. Okay, uh, where is this show going? He's throwing away his measuring tape. We did no measurements. That's correct. And that, is, this, that right there is going to save time to try to measure and get the exact where these receptacles. Because you got to remember, these receptacles are located behind the sheetrock that you haven't cut out yet. Exactly. Wow. And how long has this been, technology's been out there? I invented these in 19, 2010 and got, finally got them patented three years later, 2013. Wow. And then finally, when I decided it's time to me to hang up my shingle as a doc, I said, okay, come May, I want to be so in the May. National Hardware Show. And that's where we met you. That's exactly right. here, I created the inside of the wall cavity. And inside this wall cavity is the studs, 16 inch center. I went ahead and installed the electrical sockets. Now what I would have to do right now, I'm ready for the sheetrock. And that's the problem trying to find the receptacles exactly. behind the wall when this, you know, when the Receptacles are there. Now, Indeed. show me your system right now. Okay. First thing I told you, we aren't going to use any kind of measuring tape. All right. We're going to take a little thing called points mark the spot. Okay. And we're going to put them on the boxes here. So that's what I'm going to do right now is just simply put them on the box to show you we can have a box that's marked in about a minute. Wow. And it's called what now? These are points mark the spot. So the electrician or the helper would go ahead and pre-do these things, right? Exactly. Okay. Now we're pre-doing all our receptacles. Ah, we forgot something. What'd you forgot? You got one there. Oh, okay. Well, you got scrap paper? Right here. We, I do. I have one okay. right there. Uh, sometimes you don't have the right, you don't have all the right sizes. You ran out of white ones. All right. And this needs a white one. Well, we're going to do a field expedient. That's what we call it when I was a in the field surface. expedient. Field expedient. When you, have to, when you have to make these modifications. So if you have trouble pa folding paper, you're right. going to have a tough time with this. But here, we're going to go ahead and put that on. And it'll slip on just as smooth as silk. Look at that. Now we're ready so to go. We're indeed. ready to close the wall. Indeed. All right. All right. Now what it's doing right now, it's marking the indenture inside the panel. When I make a couple taps. Okay. So you ready to do it? All right, let's do it. Okay. Then I guess you will remove the sheet rod. Indeed. And now your markings is on the back side of One. the panel. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. And four. Now, Marshall, I see that you have your indentures. Now, what's the next step? Okay. Next step is to go ahead, if you want the primo, primo job, we're going to score around the back of this before we drill our holes. Okay. All right. All right. Now, you can use great big old carpenter's square, but let's use something, $1.53. 
that works even better, just as well. Right. And Michael, if you can hold that I got there. it right there. Oh, could up. We're going to. All right. All okay. right. We're going to do the same thing over here. Wait, 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 wait. Right there. Yeah. All right. All right. You got it? Uh -huh. I got it. Look how easy this is. So when we time and money. Exactly. When we push through from the front, those are just going to pop out. Wow. I'm ready to drill my holes now. All right. Let's do the middle one. Okay. Doesn't matter where. All right. Let's do the little one, little little drill. This is just what we do so we can mark it from the front side too. Okay. And score it. All right. So. One. Two. And again, this is just so Three. easy to cut out. Exactly, right. exactly. And cut out so it looks pretty, just like the show nice, in, my, even in my instructions. So we're ready to turn it around to the front. Like this? Yes, okay. indeed. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to score this just like All I right. did in the back. Okay, let's do it. We're marking just on the outside of the holes. All right. Just on the outside. We want a nice, clean fit. Okay, we're going to trip right. it around. Flip it. Top side. All right. Got it. Close there. Okay. Got it. And watch out for that old finger, Michael. I got it. All, All right. right, we're ready to do a little sawing. We're going to saw just to the corners. All right. Well, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and allow you to finish cutting okay. this out, and we're going to come back and see uh, what kind of job. Indeed. All okay. right, you did. I'm off you. You have all your cutouts now, right? Yes. All right, so I guess the next step was to remove the points. Which you so graciously did I did, yeah. Thank you so now, Marshall, much. Marshall, why black and white, though? I'm glad you asked that. Take a look. If the camera can pan in, the size of that slot is 6 64 Okay. For a thin box. All right. But what about thicker new boxes they've made? Well, you need a size that's a little wider. So the black is the wider width. So that's a little bit wider width, 964. And what I like about this, they're reusable. Exactly, exactly. Well, probably grab them to Probably me. a couple dozen times. Wow. But if you pep, happen to break one, 50 cents, big deal. Pitch it. Marshall, let's look at these cutouts you made. Glad you asked. Wow. Again, if I hadn't seen it, I would have not believed it. So what you went ahead and did is you cut out three, but you left one right there. Right. Why? As you remember, I drill from the back to the front because you want to cut from the front side because you get a better, more professional look. When you cut in the center here, or drill in the center, that makes you, means you can take your keyhole saw and very easily saw to the corners. And now I have four nice little triangles. And guess what? Just they, push it out. I'll let you do it. Look at that. You sure you haven't done that for a living? Wow. So. How easy is this? And then you can do some cleanup work, right? It's exactly it. These are so close that I've got to get just that little bit extra off there. Marsha, I need to tell you, uh, <laughs> I've watched sheetrock contractors put in sheetrock. I mean, the mistakes they make and uh, the amount of sheetrock that they mess up yes, and, uh, uh, you know, the mess and the mistakes and look, look how easy this is. Now. And you don't need no expensive tools. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Four uh, tools. Uh, so, the moment of truth. Let's see how well we did. All right. Like that. And obviously, if it doesn't fit snug, you can like do a little one. trim. Like that one, exactly. Wow, exactly. Marshall. Uh, the I, first time you've seen this in this, this industry. I need to tell you, um, I can't believe how easy this was. And I can see now that this is the way to go. All right, Marshall. Man, that about does it. We are out of time. Goodness. Uh, how do we find uh, points marked the spot? Where do we get it? www.dresseldesigns.com. Marsha, I want to thank you for being our guest on Home Talk. And, uh, thank you uh, for having me. Keep me posted. Let me know how you guys I are doing. I will do that. Points mark the spot.
Points mark the spot. Well, that about does it for another edition of Home Talk USA. I am the Cajun contractor, Michael King. If you want to catch some of our past episodes, go to HomeTalkTV.com. Also, you can go to HomeTalkUSA.com and get all the information about our home improvement show. Till next week, bon oui les gens. Yai! Y'all come back next week, you hear? Home Talk with the Cajun Contractor is brought to you in part by Air King, manufacturers of quality ventilation products. For more comfortable living, there's only one name to consider, Air King. Bonide Products, experts in lawn, garden, and pest control solutions, trusted since 1926. For all your roofing solutions, there's only one name, Aztec Washer, when reliability counts. And Boat Life Products, USA made and USA proud for over 50 years. For decorators, deck railing, and accessories, go beyond the ordinary. To be considered as a guest on Home Talk, send an email to Michael with your product, subject matter, and how it can benefit the end user. If you would like to advertise on Home Talk, contact Anthony Ellis toll free at 855 785 0222.